Hiya Dishies, it's Dot. Are you wondering what I might have got up to and why you haven't seen me and why you're still not gonna see me? Well, that dreaded day came upon me where they harvest all the hours of the year and heap them upon a person all at once, otherwise known as a birthday. Yes, I had my birthday and it has aged me fiercely. And then I had the unfortunate circumstance of getting into a silly accident at home the following day. And the silly accident resulted in a broken nose and 11 stitches on my face. So <laughs> I am healing, I'm fine. Um, and I have a haul for you. So you're not going to see me for a little while until things are looking a little less frightening and a little less like this. <coughs> well, at any rate, I have been thrifting around town and wanted to share a few finds with you. So come with me. Well, I found this cute little metal tray, probably from the mid-century. It is so cute and colorful. I just love these little trays. And what I really loved is that on the back, it still had someone's name on it. Laverne. There's a name you don't hear too often. I got it for $1 at my junk shop. This little spoon rest I also got at my junk shop. It's that bright colored plastic. It's also probably from the mid-century. It makes me think of fish for some reason. There is a little bit of texture around it. This is the back. And then there's this cute little matchbox holder. I don't know when these first became popular. I would say at least the 30s or 40s. This one is probably more from the 50s, just based on its color. It was in pretty rough shape, but I only paid a dollar for it. And then I found some utensils. I always find utensils there a bottle opener, a jar opener with that pretty 1940s jadeite color, and these two Tupperware scoops. And here they are. It's a Lucky Lager bottle opener and a blue streak two-way jar opener. I'm not sure how old it is. It is a little bit oxidized. And the Tupperware scoops, which I have one. The, there were two of these. I think I got all these utensils for about a quarter a piece. This junk shop is great for finding things like this. And I found there also for a dollar this beautiful Hall 1940s red pepper shaker. It's a large one. I did not find the salt anywhere, but I love that radiation red, as you know. And check this out. Isn't she so adorable? This little bluebird cookie jar. Oh my gosh, I found her at Goodwill for $3.99. She will be for sale in my Dot Likes Red shop. Um, I'm calling her a cookie jar. I guess she could be a excuse me, she could be a coffee canister or a tea canister. She's probably too small for my family to have cookies in, but with some modesty. She is made by Marston of California Pottery. I could not find any information about them. There are very few pieces of theirs available online. I did see this same little cookie jar with a creamer and sugar. Next, I have the large 404 primary color mixing bowl in the original 1940s. Both of these are the original 40s bowl. Um, one of them does have a small little crack in the bottom, but it does not compromise the integrity of the bowl. You could still um, put something in it, but I would probably just use it for display. And here's how you tell by the mark. Um, there's no number on the mark there. 
and those were 1945 to 49. I also found this 403 bowl, which I believe was part of the Verde set, which was the mixing bowls in different shades of green. And that Verde set is from the 1960s. Now check these out, these wonderful atomic mid-century bowls by Sterling China in the Caribe line from the mid-50s. They have pink and black starbursts. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. They are pretty good size. They're about nine by seven in kind of an interesting shape. So those will be for sale. And then of course, I have some lovely tins. Look at this beautiful mosaic tin. Isn't it beautiful with its textures? So pretty with the, I don't know what that is, like some kind of hibiscus or primrose or something in there. Anyway, all it says is container made in Holland. That's all it says on it. But that will be uh, for sale. It's about eight inches across. I just love finding tins. Then this tin, I really, really love. It's, it's kind of a green color, which you can see. There's a lot of patina on the metal. Um, I don't know, something about it just makes me think it's older. It's about six inches high and about three and a half inches square. Yeah, it has little feet on the bottom of it even. So I will be selling that. Next, I have some Halloween things. Look at this cute little tin. It was made in the 80s. This one was in 1984. And this line was called Lucy and Me, I believe, designed by Lucy Riggs. And she made things for Hallmark and, you know, all those cute little companies like that. But isn't that adorable? That's already for sale in my shop. And how about this black jack-o'-lantern? I love finding just different colored jack-o'-lanterns. This one is from Grand Venture, and it was made in 1997. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Um, I have quite a collection of these plastic jack-o'-lanterns, and I didn't even bring them all down. I cannot find any other kind of blow mold to save my life, but I have tons of these jack-o'-lanterns. I have a blue one too, but I didn't bring him down this year. And then I found this guy. He's made by A.J. Renzi, and I think he's a little older, maybe from the 60s or 70s, and he is so cute. He's got a double side on the back. It says trick or treat, and it has a little kitty, um, you know, the traditional arched cat black there. I almost said black cat, but he's not. He's orange. It's a little bit faded, as you can see, but he just looks so cute. I have another one by General Foam that I, I didn't bring out here from 1980 and many others. And here's kind of a sorry little photograph of how I have them displayed. They're actually more graduated in size than they look in this photo, but um, I just love these candy containers. And all those Halloween pieces you just saw, I paid a dollar or less for each of them. And then how about this sweetie? Oh my gosh, isn't she cute? She's a little resin owl. I don't really know how old she is. She reminds me of the things in the 1970s, but oh my gosh, she's so cute. I paid about $2.50 for her, and I'm going to be keeping her as well as this. This is an enameled metal plate with these sweet owls on it. I would say it's probably only about six inches across, but it is so cute. I've never really seen anything like that. I don't know anything about it. Here's the sticker that's on the back of it. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Um, I don't know how old it is, but I really like it. Here's a quick little peek of all the things. I kind of left a few things out, but thanks for stopping in. And I don't know when you're gonna see me, but I do have a couple other little hauls and I can definitely show you my stuff. So everyone take care, ta.